There are a lot of things I could say about Cartoon Network's Clarence. I could talk about the Skylar Page fiasco. I could talk about how it's not exactly setting the best example for younger audiences. I could talk about how even though it takes place in a relatively uninteresting suburban location, the series knows its audience so well and what goes on in their minds that it's able to stay interesting. But today, I'd like to talk about its character design. I'm sure you've noticed by now that a lot of the major characters in Clarence are composed of basic shapes, which of course serves to make them appear more distinct from the others, and also to convey their personalities. I am in no way an expert on character design myself, but I have learned enough to know that there is a certain psychology involved with basic shapes, especially the big three that we've known since elementary school. The square, the circle, and the triangle. Squares give off a sense of stability and uniformity. Circles indicate friendliness. And triangles convey energy, activeness. So when we look at the main trio in Clarence, you'll notice that those same qualities apply to each of those three characters. Clarence is made up of round circles and considers everyone he knows to be his friends. Sumo is composed of triangles and his character is so active that he's almost unpredictable. Jeff's entire head is a square and he's usually the most stable or rigid member of the group. I actually relate to Jeff the most out of the three, but not all the time. Definitely not all the time. So according to these conventions or rules of thumb, having basic shapes in your anatomy is actually good character design. And we don't just see this in Clarence, but also in other shows, like Steven Universe, or even feature-length movies like The Incredibles, or Wreck-It Ralph. Wreck-It Ralph even designed their locations around each of these same three basic shapes. Remember, the shape things are just conventions. They're not rules or a be-all, end-all definition of quality character design. But this is something that professional artists are doing. Designing a character's appearance to specifically reflect his or her personality. And because it's not as subtle about it, Clarence is able to illustrate these concepts almost perfectly. This show is worth watching not just for its comedy, or its relatableness, but also because you can learn something from it. Except for when they get away with trespassing, wrecking supermarkets, and creating excessive property damage. Don't do that! But the character designs are good.
Okay, bye. I love you.